We are going to look at valves that help us to control pressure, control temperature, and to keep our potable water systems safe from contamination. We'll also have a quick look at some gas valves. In previous presentations, we've discussed how pressurized water is extremely dangerous because when it gets free, it can cause a great deal of damage. This is why valves and controls are so important. Now, water that is supplied to our buildings typically comes from a city or a public source where it is held at a very high pressure, often these pressures exceed 100 PSI. Inside of the building, it should be around 60 or so. The reason for this difference is that the city needs to be able to supply a lot of people water. But how do we control that water pressure? To restrict that pressure, we use what is called a pressure reducing valve or PRV. This valve is able to restrict the incoming pressure to a lower pressure by using a diaphragm and a spring and offsetting that pressure. It is important to note that these valves are directional and must be installed in the direction of flow. An arrow on the valve will indicate which direction that should be. Pressure reducing valves come in a variety of shapes, models, and sizes, but you can identify them typically by the cone-shaped attachment with an adjustment bolt on the outside. Now that bolt can adjust that pressure up or down. Turning it clockwise will turn the pressure up. Turning it counterclockwise will reduce the pressure down. Pressure reducing valves are most commonly installed just after the service valve as the water comes into the building. Let's have a look at another valve. This is a temperature pressure relief valve or TMP valve. These are mounted on the side of a water heater or other appliance that heats water and it's designed to release excessive pressure or temperature. So if it overheats or if the pressure is too high, it just opens up and lets that excess off. Without a temperature pressure relief valve, your water heater could rupture and look even as bad as this. Do you see what I see? In this picture, there is a pressure reducing valve. More than likely, this pressure reducing valve has failed and is allowing full pressure into the house, which is likely why this water heater ruptured. Here we have a mixing valve. A mixing valve is designed to bring down the temperature if the water is too hot. If your water heater is cooking water up to 140 degrees and you fill your bathtub with that 140 degree water and get in, you're not going to have any skin left when you're done. So we have to mix that down and code requires that 120 is as hot as you can go for any of these type of fixtures. We use a mixing valve which brings cold water and hot water together, mixes it to the temperature that is safe and delivers it to the fixture. This valve is located conveniently below a sink in a cabinet where the water can come in and be mixed and sent on to the tub. Occasionally we need a valve that will only allow water to go in one direction. This is especially important in recirculating systems where a pump is used to push water around. This is a spring type check valve. A spring and a disc inside of there only allow water to move in one direction. We also have a swing type check valve. This valve has a swinging door inside that will only allow water to go in one direction. But it must be installed so that that swinging door will be able to close with gravity when water is going the wrong direction. A backflow preventer is a one-way valve that prevents contaminated water from moving back into our potable water system. So this is the Reduced Pressure Principle Backflow Preventer, or RP. If water is moving the wrong direction, it will spill out the bottom. This is another backflow preventer. This is a vacuum breaker. If water is moving the wrong direction, it will spill out the top. A backwater valve is one of the few valves that we use on a drainage system, but its purpose is to stop sewage from coming into a building if it is backing up in the sewer system. Now we haven't talked much about valves for the gas systems, but pressurized gas is more dangerous than pressurized water because it is so often lethal. Similar to the water piping system, a gas valve is installed by every gas appliance so that if there is a problem, there is a valve nearby to be able to shut off the gas and have control. A gas regulator is used to reduce the pressure of the gas from one section of the pipe to another. Please note these are called pressure regulators, not pressure reducing valves, 
like we see in water pipe systems. A building's gas system is supplied by a main line on the outside of the building. The gas passes through a shutoff valve, a regulator, and a meter before it enters the building. These are typically installed by the utility and not by a plumber. Plumbers do all of the gas work inside the building. Hey, what do you think? We've kind of bounced all over the place looking at all kinds of different valves. There are of course other types of valves and other functions for valves and controls. But once again, we're looking at some of the most common and now if you hear PRV or TMP valve or an RP, now you kind of know what's going on and you're learning the plumber language. With what you have learned today, you can join the plumbers who have the controls.